Hello, hello. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about correlation versus causation. And what is causation? Causation is a direct relationship between two events where one event directly leads to the other event. In simpler terms, if A causes B, then A must occur for B to happen. So an example of causation, the inspector slips on a banana peel and the inspector falls. That's causation. There's a direct, they're directly related. What is correlation? Correlation refers to a relationship or connection between two variables where they tend to occur together, but one does not necessarily cause the other. Correlated events may be linked in some other way. So, but it's crucial to remember that correlation does not imply causation. They mean different things. They can be highly related and not be caused by one another. And in our society, we see a lot of people using causation when they're just really highly correlated events. So shoe size of young children and reading ability would be a great example of correlation. So this is likely due to the fact that older children have larger feet and are better readers, not because shoe size affects their reading. It just doesn't make sense that those things are, cause, are causation. Um, it's just really showing that as your shoe size increases, you're getting older as a child and your reading ability is increasing at the same time. It doesn't mean that their larger shoe size is causing them to read better. So, does this example show correlation or causation? If we have increased coffee consumption and a higher heart rate, well, that's going to be correlation because other factors like stress could also be influencing heart rate it's not really a cause and effect situation. It's just that um, they could also have other things affecting the two variables. Does the example show correlation or causation? The first domino in a line falls and the dominoes behind it fall. Well, this would be a great example of causation. They're directly related. The first domino falling causes the other dominoes to fall. Does the example show correlation or causation? The inspector lights a match near flammable material and a fire occurs. Those are causation. They are directly related. How about does this example show correlation or causation? Higher smartphone usage and increased reports of sleep deprivation. So higher smartphone usage and increased reports of sleep deprivation. So it's correlation. People who use their phones more at night may tend to sleep less, but it doesn't mean that the smartphone use directly causes sleep deprivation. There could be other variables also affecting that. So it's important to remember that correlation does not imply causation. Correlation can have other things affecting it. Causation is a much more direct relationship, almost to the point of being a scientific experiment. And I hope that helps you guys decipher the difference between correlation and causation. Have a great day, O-U-T spells out.